Hello guys, this is Karthik from Xeroautomation.com and welcome to ALM with Team Foundation Server Dev and QA Focused Video Series. And in this part, we're going to talk about Introduction to Team Foundation Server Part B. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch Part 1 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So let's get started. Automated Build Management so as we discussed in part one of our video series, we told that Team Foundation Server is not just a version control system. It is more than a version control system by having a version control system as a part of it and release management and also project management. And in this video, we can talk some more functionalities which a Team Foundation Server has got. And one of the greatest feature it has is the automated build management system. TFS has another great feature which is automated build management system meaning every time your developer check in their code TFS is intelligent enough and make sure it compiles and create a automated build for you and this process is otherwise called as continuous integration meaning your code is monitored for every single build close to be like a release build and all the builds will have code changes list which helps QA to identify the issues sooner. And also in Team Foundation Server 2015, there are a lot of enhancement did in this automated build management system. And one of the screenshot I have shown here is this. As you can see, you can also create a build definition within this particular web portal itself. Earlier, we used to do build definition using Visual Studio 2000. 12 or 2013 or 2015 something like that but with the introduction of team foundation server 2015 you can straight away create the build definition within the portal itself meaning you can set how you need to build the application and where you need to run your test and also you, you can tell if you want to deploy the test agent or the build agent or and also you can uh, create some kind of PowerShell script to execute the build and something like that. Well, we'll discuss more about this automated build management in upcoming videos of this video series. But as of now, just keep in mind that Team Foundation Server is also capable of performing automated build management system within itself. And the next feature of Team Foundation Server is testing and release management. TFS is not a system for just developers, but it's a close friend for QA, in fact. TFS works more similar to Quality Center of HP, but it's more than what QZ does. Of course, if you guys have already worked with QTP or Quality Center, you should be very familiar with Team Foundation Server as well. Since Quality Center uh, is a uh, complete ALM, where you can create your test cases, you can check in the code, you can also check out the code, and also you can run the test in a multiple machine using QTP, but it is very limited to quick test professional. But with Team Foundation Server, the TFS itself support a lot of other continuous integration systems like TeamCity and all of them. And also, a Team Foundation Server is not just limited to one specific tool. It is also supporting Eclipse if you want to. And it also supports Visual Studio by itself. And also Xcode if you are using the Apple platform developments. Well, those things we're not going to deal in this particular video series, but I'm just giving a heads up that Team Foundation Server supports a lot of cross-platform by itself. And TFS testing features are targeted for both developers and testers like unit testing, code coverage, manual testing, code or UI testing, load testing. So we will be discussing some of these uh, features in upcoming videos of this video series, but there is a separate video series for ALM with this Team Foundation Server for QA focused where we'll be discussing more about the tester focus side of the Team Foundation Server. Using TFS Web and MTM, QA can perform complete software testing lifecycle by writing test plans, test cases, test case maintenance, bug reporting, and bug tracking. 
well we'll discuss again as i said we'll be discussing most of these uh, stuffs in a separate video series in our execute automation channel but as of now just keep in mind that these are some of the features which is also available in your team foundation server the last feature which we'll discuss in the team foundation server is the lab management feature and this is super cool because the lab management is useful while you want to run your tests in multiple machines with the different configurations like OS or browsers etc and the lab management in team foundation server works to make sure your builds are deployed in remote machines which you configure in your build template of your project and this runs the test in a remote machine as well provided you have test controller and test agent configurations done but the test controller and test agent configurations all those are till visual studio 2013 and Team Foundation Server 2013 until that but with Team Foundation Server 2015 there is no test controller and test agent configuration required meaning the test agent will automatically configure itself with the Visual Studio Online or the Team Foundation Server on premises and you can run the test in remote machine automatically with few configuration in the build agent well we'll discuss more about that in upcoming videos of this video series while we talk about the build configuration but as of now don't worry about it we'll talk more about that later so these are some of the features which is available with your team foundation server out of the box and also lab management works with uh, Hyper-V and SEVMM so that you can run tests in virtual machines well it's more awesome since it does a lot of stuff like snapshotting etc so finally TFS is truly an ALM as that said TFS proves to be a real ALM system since it helps to do requirement gathering planning developing testing deploying and maintaining so that's why Team Foundation Server is really a true ALM. So that's it guys. This ends our introduction of Team Foundation Server 2015. And from the next video of this video series, we'll talk about the installation and configuration of Team Foundation Server. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.